General Motors recalled more vehicles today, nearly two and a half million more. That brings the total this year to 13 and a half million. Here's Jeff Glor. Today's actions mean General Motors has now recalled nearly five times as many vehicles this year as it sold in all of last year. 29 recalls in 2014, nine in just the past five days. Running Clarence Ditlow is with the Center for Auto space. Safety. And what they're doing is they're uh, getting rid of their backlog of defective vehicles that they've built over the year. And with General Motors today, if in doubt, recall. The largest of today's new recalls involve 1.3 million enclaves, traverses, Acadias, and Saturn outlooks over a seatbelt defect, as well as a million Malibus and Pontiac G6s because of a bad cable. This extraordinary number of fixes, including the ignition switch defect linked to 31 crashes and 13 deaths, has so far cost GM $1.9 billion. GM says it's added 35 product investigators this year to, quote, quickly address emerging safety issues. Jeff, the bills are really adding up. What is this doing to the company's bottom line? Well, Scott, there are those charges. If you look at GM's stock price, it's down about 9% since the ignition switch recall began. The broader market is up about 5%. But analysts we talked to today said GM has largely been able to weather this because they made so much money the past couple of years. Jeff, thanks very much. We have posted a complete list of these recalled cars on our website, cbsnews.com.